Hello everyone. Well, I think we are live. So if you can tell me if you can hear me, that would be awesome. Here we go. So uh, today you're going to choose the color. So that's going to be fun. It's been a long time. I didn't do that. So um, I'm going to share with you the paper. I know some of you, I put the snippet, you know what I'm going to be using tonight. And the stamp set, uh, some say, oh, I would like to see this in this color, that color. But really, the stamp set, it's, um, it's just for the inside for a border. So I'm not even showing what I'm going to be using because that can be thinking on the different thing. I just want to know what is your favorite color of a flower, okay? It doesn't matter which kind of flower. So what is your favorite color? So I'm looking there and I saw Island Ether because some of you know you were choosing the color today. So um, I'm going to wait and see a little bit. So while we wait, so you guys vote for your favorite color. Today, it's September 15th, so if you watch the replay down the road, so what I announce, it's strictly only for September 15, 2022. All, when I say all, <coughs> some of the wording was kind of tricky with stamping up. Well, it is all stamp set, okay? All of it in the annual catalog. All of them, the exception, it's the... Uh, hostess uh, stamp but really uh, the hostess stamp we cannot buy them so really it's all the stamp set you can buy in the catalog now I was live on Facebook this morning or at lunchtime um, if it's a stamp set that it's available in a bundle with some are available like the stamp set and the die separately but not in a bundle so go ahead you ordered the, the uh, stamps but if it's offered in a bundle and you plan to buy the dies down the road i say you might as well buy it now together in the bundle because it's even cheaper as a bundle as 10% because you get 10% of the stamps and 10% of the die. So that make it cheaper than buying the stamp set at 15% and the dies at full price. I did the math on many of them because I thought maybe it depends on the price. No, it is cheaper as a bundle. But all stamp set are 15%. I hope that don't confuse you. So, okay, now I'm looking, I see a lot of purple there. And let me island either purple uh, uh yellow okay i got purple yellow i'm looking another yellow and pink polish pink pink okay so that's the three color i'm gonna go get i'm using three color and are they gonna look good together i don't know but i know one thing when you plant flowers or um by a bouquet of flowers a lot of time you get mixed color so that's what i'm gonna go get i'm gonna get a yellow daffodil delight and a island ether for the purple and the pink i'm gonna go ahead and somebody said polish pink that's what i'm gonna use and I'm going to need to toss a green in that because we got um, leaves, okay? So I'm going to use the granny apple green. So let me flip you down. And by the way, I was live today on um, Facebook and it was all bright color. So I think people thought that I hit the bottle early in the morning. You know what? I don't drink, by the way, but it's still because I don't use... Um, bright color often and to top it all off i don't use dye often and i use dye too so it was like what happened to frenchy right so if you miss the facebook i know some of you are not on facebook so i download it on youtube so you can watch it here after or maybe you saw it this was the color that the color this is the card that we done and those cards there are <coughs> excuse me 
It's the Joseph coat, the resist technique, but the background it's done with blends. Let me just say it is the bomb with the blends because with a, a ink pad, it's still kind of humid, whatever the emboss stick on it and so on, even with the buddy. Well, this it's awesome. So this is the rainbow color. All of it, it's explained in the thing. So see, that's the reason uh, to small, reasons to small. Great cards to send to somebody just because you're thinking of them. And look at that, how vivid they are, those color. That would brighten somebody's day. As always, I challenge you to send card for no reason. Just because you're thinking of somebody, you don't have to wait for a birthday. You don't have to wait for anniversary. Somebody to get sick, send get well. You send smile in the mail. So that's my challenge at all time to you. Make a card, send a card, make a card, send a card, okay? So that was those one. And again, it's all stamp set in the regular catalog are 15%. Now, what I'm using tonight, while you're shopping the 15% the stamps, this paper, the vellum, it's on the weekly deal, and perfectly pencil, it's also in the weekly deal. So, more reason to shop. So, everything that I'm using tonight, it is on sale pretty much, okay? Not the blends, but like I said. So, now... I'm going to cut a piece of this here. Remember, if you're new to this channel, Thursday night, it's create on the fly. So you, who knows what's going to happen here. I have no clue, but you guys choose the color this time and I'm going to create something. So I cut this at three and three quarter and then I'm going to cut that at five. Three and three quarter by five. And then I'm going to cut this piece also at three and three quarter by five. And this one here, it, what it's kind of cool about this, three and three quarter by five, it's go on both directions. So you don't even have to pay attention. See, it go every, well, upside down though, in any direction. So that's what kind of nice. And with that, you get different prints. So you get the one with the white. So every print you get white and black. Okay, on the vellum, you get the map, you get the type pad, see? So that is the vellum that it's on sale this week. Okay, so now we're gonna be using this and I'm going to use the perfect, that's another print of the perfect pencil. I'm going to cut this at one. Yeah, about one. By three and three quarter. Voila. Okay, I got something in mind. Maybe I shouldn't cut all my piece still because I'm going to need more. We're going to color though first and then that's going to decide what color base I'm going to be using. Okay, I get a scrappy, dirty paper here. Uh, we're going to go green and still use that just because uh, I don't see why I should use another piece, clean piece, just color. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to color my leaves. And anytime that I get leaves, I like to use a yellow with my leaves. And the yellow make kind of, it's the light, right? And it looked like it's going to take a long time. But while I do that, while I color this, you guys can chit chat. What is your favorite stamp set in the annual catalog? So if it's some that I get a lot of the same, maybe I'm going to use that next week for create on the fly. So go ahead and tell me what is your favorite stamp set uh, in the annual catalog? Now, my green, I am using here, um, I want it brighter for some reason. I, I'm in the bright color today. I'm using Granny Apple Green, okay? And I say I'm using the blend, but I don't really blend. If you see, I'm really just flopping color on that. Um, sending Smile, that is a very lovely one. I'm looking if 
I see more there. I, I'm going to read all the comments when I'm done, though. It's just sometimes, you know, I get distracted, start reading the comment, then I forget what I was doing here, and it's kind of a mess. <laughs> And that's the reason, doesn't matter, Stephanie had taught me that. She taught us a class in um, Cheyenne about watercoloring and the blends. And that was one of the tips that she shared with us that really stick with me. It's the yellow when I do a leaf. And seriously, it brings the leaf to life. It's, it's amazing. You know what? Somebody mentioned cottage rose. I think I do have that stamp set, but I don't think I even use it yet. So that would be, uh, but I'm going to check if something, it's a lot more, I'm going to use that. Now I'm going to flip this here. And if you notice in the perfectly pencil, this is one of the paper that is the most friendly to color and i'm going to show you why i say it's the most paper friendly to color the main reason if you look at the paper it's all like shaded where it should be dark and so on so the artist did the work for you so you don't have to do much to get that tone and that light through your colors because see you get all that kind of shaded area. So that is one thing that I absolutely love about this paper. It looked like you really blend the colors and darker and lighter and that. And really, it's already done for you. So that is one thing that I absolutely love with this paper. So if you knew with coloring, this would be a good one to do. Also, I did this paper with um, the chalk, the pastel. I got a video on that with the pastel. Very uh, easy one to blend the colors just because it's all done for you. Here we go. Now I got this done. Now, in the color you mentioned, so we add the yellow. And I see I got a butterfly. So my, uh, we get a few butterfly. The butterfly going to be yellow. Yellow mellow. See? Boom. So now that I'm looking at all this here, I think the color we picked tonight is going to be amazing. Yes, yes, yes. So I got two butterfly, I think. I want to have a little bit of Here we go. Okay, now I'm gonna color dough. Oh, and then the center of the flower yellow. Okay, we're gonna do this. And I can tell you, I need new blends in my yellow. They're pretty much on the fritz. And this is gonna go in the green there. Okay, let's go. Okay, so those little um, pod there, we're going to put that in Island Ether. I'm going to start with the light. It's a lot easier to go with the light than going to the dark, okay? I see some of the stamps you mentioned I don't have, I think. So Elephant Parade, I don't think I got that set. I'm going to have to check that out. So like I said, I'm going to try to look for the one that was more in the popular there and go with that. Okay, and then over here, you're going to say, well, those prints look like upside down, but when the card is done, it's, it's going to go in the direction we want. I think this is going to be just right with the other paper. So we're going to do the other paper. It's going to be a, a layer on top of this here. I was hoping that you guys would pick some, you know, bright color or dark color because I think that's what I need. And get a bit 
there. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and do those one in the pink here. Like I said, I'm gonna start in the light pink and the, re oh, that never been used, I think. The reason also in the light pink, cause where you get the dark, it's already do the shading, right? I just gonna have to add a little bit maybe with the dark. Oh yes, those colors are gonna go good. Who would have thought pink, yellow, and purple would go good. And I think we're gonna have a striking card here by the time we are done. Hookah Lake, yeah, where is that? I never heard of that neither. So is the weather cooled down? I was talking to um, Vicky from California um, this morning, and you know California been in Arizona, all that west coast there been kind of it with that eat eat wave, and us finally this morning I went to walk and it was sixty five. I didn't see the sixties weather since last spring, so I was super super excited. So what about you? Is the weather get a little bit cooler or too cool and then okay when it comes to a bud usually a bud it's way darker right so i'm gonna go ahead and it's not a big difference in the light and the dark of this one here just a little bit and under gonna have to be in the green and here I'm going to add just a little bit where it curved. And you know what? I think when where it curved, I want that quite a bit darker. I'm going to use my island ether and put that where we get the petal that turned there. Just to give some character here. See where the petal turned? That's where I put the dark and that's going to make it look even more that it turned. I think you can see that there. Okay. And this here going to be in the yellow also. Ooh, don't you ate that when mm, I got to that. Okay. If that happened, let me show you what I'm going to do. I'm glad that happened live. So then you guys can see what I do when that happened. I got a cherry cobbler too. So I take a plier, pull, and then just put it back in. Here we go. Okay, so now those buds here are gonna be yellow too. And that it's in the dark, okay? So these flowers are gonna be I need a new, um, do I have a new one here? Don't know if I get a new one, I got another old one. Okay, note to myself, order new um, stamping blend in the yellow. Here we go. And over here, we're almost done here. So then, we're gonna put a layer on that. I don't know what was those one, but we're going to put it in, ooh, this tip it shot here. Here we go. And the dark one right here. Here we go. And that was in the yellow I did that too. Well, who said I need them all in the yellow, even if it's the same flower? I'm going to put more purple here. I know you guys won't be upset if I put more purple. I know that. Well, that one is the dark. I like to go with the lighter better when it's little flowers like this. Oh, that was a leaf. That's all good. I can go back with the green. Okay. 
and right here I can add something else I think we got it okay let me finish with the green and I'm gonna go with the dark here I want under this and this leaf was not done and I'm gonna go with the light now I better go okay and the reason why I think it don't matter much if it's color very nice because we're going to put the layer on top of that okay so it's just I want to make sure that all my bits and pieces are colored though and here I had some leaf right here here we go okay now looking at this I think my layer will be uh, that uh, what it's called uh, polish pink I think we're gonna go with the polish yeah we're gonna go with polish pink and black so because I get more of the polish pink I know some of you were voting for that purple right see how that's gonna come to life and then my polish pink gonna be my card base so we're gonna go ahead cut this on the long way this it's in my way we're gonna cut this at four and a quarter yeah the the black and white perfectly um um pencil it is the bomb and the reason why i say that because a lot of time you wish you would have this color or that color or this color and the paper you can color it i brought some we did some we did like four or five colors like that uh, i mean cards i had a few left here let me show you and I think those one were done live on uh, Facebook. I'm pretty sure. Okay, let me show you that before I forget. And then also the card that last week here. So we don't want to forget that. Let me put all this here. We won't forget it. So here, this is the same paper. See, polished pink, yellow, and purple. It happened to be the same. That is funny. I didn't even pay attention to that. Okay, and then I get some in the red though now here is one it was just that see it flopped there i that is on my blog just like this week last week not long ago so that is the same paper it's very striking black and white with yellow with uh melon mambo that's another one it's just see that must be my measurement and so on yeah yeah and here in the yellow and here just in black and white but with a dash of a daisy uh, yellow so it's that paper right now it's on sale i say it's a great paper to have on end now last week it was like a one sheet wonder with the rustic arbus and the winner if you missed that you can watch the replay they always record it joanne spivak so everybody that I read your name, go at frenchystamps.com. And right at the top, you got, um, you get contact me. Click on contact me on my blog, okay? And then send me your mailing address. So Joanne, this one, it's uh, Heidi from Wyoming. That's what her things say. So Heidi, I think that it's one of Ollie's uh, BFF there. So ID, and here is Annie Wagner, Annie, Annie Wagner, and last but not least, K Strum, S-T-R-U-M. So congratulations, and just send me your mailing address, and I'm going to send this card in the mail, and I don't sign them, so you can use them, okay? Okay, so now we got this. Now, many of you are going to be wondering how to glue the vellum. 
Yes, I do have a tip video on that. The best thing is to take a sponge with Tombow glue. Don't put the glue on this. Put the glue on the sponge and sponge it. Tonight, I don't have to do this because I got something else in mind. See how it's all changed the look? I wanted to use the, both of the paper because I like both of these paper, and it happened they're both on sale. So I decided to use both of them. Now, you know the little piece that I cut that, oh, it's still here. My goodness. That's good, right? We're going to put that right here. And that's going to be at the bottom. Okay, so this is going to be this way. So now what I'm going to do, it's, where do I want? Right here, I'm going to put my paper on top. We're going to put that right this, like this. Boom, boom. Is that cool? So that looked really like a paper, but really it's two paper. So some of you say you're challenged to, oops, it's off a bit. Let me try to, here we go. Uh, challenged color. Well, that would be great if you think your color, it's not the best. The vellum on top really going to just smooth that out, completely smooth that out, okay? Now, we're going to glue this on top here. And this is normal. So when you color on designer syrup paper, you have to put it on something else. Because, yes, it's going to bleed through because it's very thin, okay? Absolutely. The, uh, that vellum changed everything. I agree with all of you. Everything. Yes, 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 yes. I didn't know how it would look. I just put it on top, and it was black and black. Well, let me show you. You're going to see exactly what I'm talking about. And I was like, hmm, I don't know how that looked. And I, I was visualizing it, color would look good, and it did. So you see when it's not color, it's kind of distraction, right? But see when it's color, how pretty it is. So sometimes, like I say, you have to finish your card before you judge your work. Okay, so now... And you don't even see this here. It's very friendly. You don't even see the uh, where you put the glue. So really, you could use that uh, with anything. You wouldn't even need the liquid. I'm going to put that right here. Now, I got a piece. I got two pieces of white, three pieces. Oh, that's a white base. I don't want that. I need another white. So let me gather another white. So the layer for the white, for the um, inside, whatever. Why do I need another one? I just need one. What was I thinking? I don't know. Um, so this is going to go inside. This is going to go on top here. We're going to do our greeting. So it's been a while I didn't do a happy birthday. So I'm going to do happy birthday. And of course, yes, somebody will win this card. But um, you can use it for a birthday, right? Now, I'm going to use uh, black ink. So I'm going to use memento. And then polish pink. Or, oh, no, I'm going to do island either for that one. Okay, I need some scrap white and scrap. Um, what color was that? Polish. We're going to go with the polish. Oh, I don't have a scrap. Let me look over here. It's going to be a bigger scrap than normal. Oh, it's all good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and stamp the happy birthday. 87. Yeah, that's about what we hit today, but we started cool. It was kind of nice. Okay, so I got the happy birthday there, and then I brought the double oval punch. So I get everything that I was planning to use minus the color of the blends, but I will edit that. You get the link right below, and soon we're done, I will edit that, okay? Only 90-ish here today. I love your at attitude. Only 90-ish. Love it. So now I'm going to stamp this. I find it a lot easier to stamp first and then punch. 
much easier for me. Maybe you guys like the other way around. I like this and was a nickel frame. So what I'm going to do, oh, it doesn't matter. It's a double punch, but here we go. I'm just going to punch that. Now I get a piece of scrap to put in my scrap paper. I'm going to put that here, put that there. See, it's all coming together. Very, very simple. For some of, and it's been known as a true thing, coloring, it's very a relaxation or put your mind at ease and so on. So when you can take a whole sheet of the 12 by 12 and color it and then do cards down the road, right? And this one will lift up here. And because I don't see the, the vellum through this, I'm going to do this. I mean, the glue through that, it didn't really show at all. I love this vellum. It's very, very friendly. I thought, hmm. Et voila. See, you cannot see it. Not at all. Ooh, 58. Well, that's, that's good for walking. Or good to go pick up your eggs, uh, Scott, and feed your yaks, right? And then we're going to put that right here. And that we're going to put that with dimensional. Absolutely, Catherine. Stamping first and then punch. You can center it. It's so much easier to me. I know some people like to uh, die cut or punch out all kind of shape for greeting and keep it in one of those, uh, whatever those, whatever it's called, a stamp case. And for me, it's like, mm, that don't do the trick. And I know for some it does. Okay, we're going to put some bling on that one minute. We need some bling bling. So let me see what I got for blings. I want... Mm, let's see the pink here yep that's going to do good I'm going to put that one and then that one here we go now we're going to go ahead and oops that put it back in your spot do the inside so the inside i'm using the artist what it's called artistically hang so we're gonna go ahead and use this watercolor i absolutely love this if i have to pick one set that not including the greetings i think that would be one of them i use that one a lot not just for the flowers but for the background, it's so lovely for background. So now we're going to, because the card is pink, we're going to bring the purple with that. I'm going to use the Island Ether. And we're going to do all around. So a lot of time we're wondering, oh, what we're going to put here or there on the background of a card, or it's just missing a little something, something, I say. This stamp set, it's one of it. Sometimes I like the little polka dot on other stamps too, but this, I mean, it's, look at that. Is that cool? I think it is. So now we're going to go ahead so this stamp set you do have the the matching dies but it's not offered as a bundle so uh, if you decide to buy the dies down the road that's fine but right now that's 15 percent okay all stamps are 15 percent it's just that if you want with a bundle i think you know it's different here we go so now i didn't put nothing else there you can put uh, whatever um you want to go with a birthday card, but voila. So what do you think? So this is the one with the, and it looks so different with that villain on top. So different. 
and then that was this morning okay that was done on facebook but i downloaded it on youtube so all of you can watch it all this it's part of the whatever it's called the weekly deal and it's more good deal there let me uh, tell you a little bit more so while you shop with your and i thought to use this ribbon because the ribbon was um on sale but see it's more of a crane so i decided not to use it this ribbon it's and you can color it though with a uh, blends or ink or so on i could have done that but i feel right now sometimes too much is too much and this I think that it's good the way it is. Um, okay, so I'm going to bring you to um, the weekly deal. So at the top, if you click shop, shop 24-7. And then you get the 24. This, the uh, stamp at the 15% in tonight at 11.59 Mountain Time, okay? Now here it's what it's called the hamburger. I'm gonna click special, September weekly deal. Okay, so you get that ribbon. So this year it's the pearlized, oh, can you see? Okay, I'm gonna put it this way. Pearlized uh, enamel effect. That is, it's what I used for those ghost eyes a couple weeks ago. Then you get the silver ribbon, the one I was planning to use, but it's more like a vanilla. So I decide not to, but you can color it with blends, ink, and so on. Uh, if you color it with blends, though, do it at your own risk because it can be tough on your um, tips. Uh, the rose gold uh, and white. You get the texture chic, the cards, memory and more cards, the cards and envelope. We used that not long ago in one of the cards. You get the masking paper that is those things. Remember, when you use the masking paper, you want to put it on your clothes first because it's almost, it's very strong, okay? You get the beautiful rose gold foil. So it's three color in the rose gold. Look, you get the lovely layers. That's vellum also. Then you get the uh, perfectly penciled. That's the one we use tonight. And also the vellum here. That's the one we use tonight. You get the full glass, uh, the full C glass. You get the white three quarter ribbon. And you get the Eden dies, snowy white. That's almost, it's not almost, it's a velvet. It is a velvet paper. You get the scallop treat box and you get the beautiful evening evergreen and fresh first year. Let me show you that ribbon. That ribbon, if you are challenged to make bow, this ribbon here is very, very friendly. It is soft but stiff at the same time. It is one of the ribbon, I, it's a few ribbon, I think they're, you know, super slick. I rate my uh, ribbon, how easy they are to make a bow, and this I would give a 10, okay? Very easy, see, boom, done. And then you can pull, it's like very easy. This one, it's also very friendly to do a bow. I would give it a nine just because I, I mean nine out of ten it's very good it's make it more see it don't pull as easy it pull but it's not as easy okay so this year it's super super easy this is super easy but not super super <laughs> so out of nine out of ten and ten out of ten i think both of them are very easy so here we go. So I hope you enjoy all my creation today. I was on the go, 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 right? Um, but that's about it. So the sale for the stamp set from the annual catalog and tonight, we are September 15th. If you watch the replay, this is September 15th, uh, 2022, and it's 15% discount or 15% off on all stamp set in the annual catalog, exception the whole set that you cannot buy neither, by the way. You can earn it from, for free though, with order of 150 and above, you can choose the stamps set in the whole section. You don't have to host a party for that. You can earn them for free with order of 150 and above. And then the weekly deal, 
that the one that posted uh, today gonna go till next uh, Wednesday that's the 21st and then on the 20s well the 21st we're gonna start a new one today give us a, a day early now so we're gonna have the last round of um, the weekly deal next Wednesday going for a, till that following uh, Thursday, the 27, 28, something like that. That is it, my friend. I hope you enjoyed tonight. Till next time, happy stamping. And again, I get in the description all the supplies. You get a link there. And all of you that need supplies, I would really appreciate your support. Shop right there 24-7. Thank you so much and have a lovely evening. Bye-bye for now.